Today I've got my thoughts on set 60291, the family house from 2021, and this I've been on the look for for pretty much the entire past year, and so I finally settled for just getting it from a local toy store, even though it was slightly overpriced, even compared with Lego, but I still ended up getting the set anyway. But we'll start out with the minifigs, which you get a boy, a girl, a mom, and a dad. And the boy has a really, really awesome torso. I absolutely love that torso. And then he also comes with a separate hairpiece. And the dad comes with a dark blue hat to swap out with the helmets used for the street hockey, which they also give you two hockey sticks in white. And then the girl has a recolor of Parker's hat hair combo from Hidden Side in reddish brown hair with a red hat. So I think that's really nice to get that hat hair combo in a different color. Really happy with that. And then the mom is nothing too special. All normal pieces that aren't really too hard to find and then you also do get a dog in this set which I believe is a new mold for from 2021 so really happy to add that to my collection because I love getting different dog molds in Lego to add to my city and then you get this minivan type car build which isn't too simple but it's yet yeah, it's not too hard but it is a bit confusing when it comes to the roof I'm not a big fan of how they did that but it does do the job to give a car for the family so I'm okay with that and then one of the really nice things before we actually get to the house is actually with this set they give you one of the 8 by 16 road plates which I absolutely love that they give you this because I would like to just give some variety to my residential area and with getting an 8 by 16 road piece That'll allow me to swap out one of the 16 by 16s and then I can put in another 8 by 16 crosswalk. So I'm really happy to do that. And probably one of my biggest gripes overall with this set is probably with the bottom floor. And there's nothing too wrong with the outside area. But the fact that they really, really crammed things on the inside here of the actual house, at least on the first floor, is really tight because you've got a very small living room area, which I'm okay with the size of it, but it just feels still a bit small for everything they're trying to fit in here. But the real problem on the bottom floor is the kitchen, which is like a double oven and stove. And that is a bit too much. I would have been okay with just a single oven and stove and maybe a sink. But they didn't even include a sink on the bottom for the kitchen. So that's kind of a bit of a problem. And then second floor, you've got a outdoor patio and grill area, which I think works perfectly fine. And I'm pretty happy with this setup. It'll look really good in my city for where I plan to put this. So I can't wait to get that set. And then we've got the second and third floor 
interiors, which for the middle, you've got the bathroom, which isn't too bad, but the fact that they didn't even include a faucet with the sink is a bit of a problem. But other than that, I'm perfectly fine with the look for the bathroom. And then you've got something that kind of doubles as a playroom and possibly the spot where they've got the washer and dryer combo. At least that's what I get from the little build with the bucket on top. So I think that is a good use of space for that. And then the very top floor is the only bedroom in this entire house, which is a decent use of space. It at least uses, gives a better use of space than the uh, bedroom from set 8403 City House from 2010, which you guys will see a comparison between these two sets very soon. And I do really like how they set up the bedroom. I think this is a good use of space for this set. And overall, the only real big gripe I have with this set for the house itself is just the crammed size for the kitchen and the living room. Everything else has got a decent amount of space to it, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And then for the little bit of outside detail that they give you, you've got picnic table and an electric car charging station. And then a very small garden, which I think is really good use of space. And then you've got a tub with a couple of poop pieces more than likely from the dog and I think that's a really good use of outside detail so I'm really happy with the exterior of the house and overall other than the bottom floor issues I think this is a great set to add to any city Especially if you missed out on the old city house from 2010. I would definitely grab a couple of these. At least two or three. And put them in a row. And I think that would be a really great use to set up a residential area for a city. So you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. And just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.